my background is in that's that's all I've ever wanted to do. And Carrie will tell you how hard that was with the consolidation of the radio industry, where it was pack up, move. Company got sold, pack up, move. Format change, pack up, move. They've downsized staff. It was crazy. I had to find a way to stay in the business that I absolutely loved so much, but at a lot of times doesn't love its lovers back. <laughs> um, we had been all over the Midwest. Um, my parents moved uh, us out to Arizona as a, as a kid. I went to high school and college out there, and I just couldn't wait to come back to the Midwest. I was, uh, originally grew up in Michigan. Carrie's from the UP, so we're, we're Midwest kids and spent a lot of time in Duluth. Um, we spent some time in Omaha, and we moved to Milwaukee in 1998, and we pretty much thought we'd seen all of the Midwest until uh, people that I worked with said, oh, you guys, have you been to Door County yet? This was in 1998. And we came up on a long weekend, and we absolutely just, we couldn't believe that this place existed. It, it had everything that we'd always wanted um, in, our, in our personal lives as far as recreation. There was water, there was decent terrain, there was the Four Seasons, there was everything else. Um, and I, I think it was really best described, I read something that Roger wrote actually in one of his editorials the other day that said to really appreciate Door County sometimes almost you need to hear it from somebody who isn't from here. And that really is one of the things that um, I felt when we came up is that there are people that get it and there are people that like to keep it a secret but one of the things that I wanted to do was really to exploit that we have just the most amazing peninsula in the Midwest. So we were up in um, the summer of 98 and was listening to local radio because yes, I am a radio geek, so that's what I do. I don't listen for the music, I listen to everything's between it. It makes Carrie out of her mind. Stop it, leave the song on. <laughs> um, and we, we recognized that Door County had a lot of things similar to um, other resort areas across the country, whether it was in Aspen, Colorado, or Burlington, Vermont, um, Madison, very similar, has a lot of similarities with, with Door County, and um, we felt that there was room for a different kind of radio station. Um, one of the questions was always, uh, you know, well, how, how would you compete with the WDOR? And it's like, well, we don't want to compete with WDOR. We, we have our own niche that we want to serve, and it was kind of like a complement to what is already existing in the county. So we set out with the FCC to see if there was actually room here, and you have to go through a whole process of um, actually finding space that could be allocated to an area. And in 1998, we filed the paperwork with uh, an engineering firm in uh, Thienesville, and it sat at the FCC for almost seven years and went to auction. We had the opportunity to bid on our child that we followed along for seven years and put in all the engineering work and spent a lot of the money. Um, it went to auction in spring of 2007 and uh, we came out as the uh, winning bidders that we actually got to apply and pay for the license that we originally went on through. So in the case of, Ed, of, of Eddie's parents' days to where it went through processes and it went through hearings and lawyers and um, now pretty much the FCC takes it and um, puts it up for an auction and it goes to the highest bidder. Um, the license for 106.9 was in an auction with another 124 permits across the country and once you are awarded the license, then you have approximately two years to get it up on the air. Um, we were elated. We were so excited that this was something that we were finally going to get to do. People would come to me and they say, well, if you don't do Door County, you know, is there anything else that you're, I mean, you, you, I, I think that if we didn't get to do this, I don't think we would have done it. I think I would have sold real estate or something at that point. But we were so in love with the area. Then that, come, that came the second, the second part of the whole thing was, was how to share our love of Door County with everybody else. The technology has so advanced now to where not only do we broadcast at FM 106.9 locally, but our uh, audio stream online, people come up, they discover the radio station, they take it home with them. On the front page of our website, you know, it says enjoy a little bit of Door County at your desk anytime by clicking here. Our, our website hits have gone exponentially through the roof beginning when we started to stream back in November till now. I mean it's an unbelievable advancement of what happens and the emails that we receive that thank us for streaming and that people feel that they are connected to Door County even another way 
besides having the, the Pulse email blast email it to them or getting the advocate in the mail, um, now they're feeling that they're getting that audio piece too that they're missing. They're hearing their friends that own the businesses. You know, they're hearing a lot of these things. They're discovering new places that they actually make plans to come and visit when they come to Door County by listening to the Lodge online. It's been just a, a fantastic experience. Um, we wanted to be a little bit more um, lighthearted in our delivery. Um, everything is produced and programmed locally. We do not subscribe to any service whatsoever. All the programming comes from um, me. The traffic is taken care of by my wife, Carrie. She takes care of all VP duties that there are to take care of, including vacuuming also. Um, we run the radio station with a staff of about six right now. There are six of us. It is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, it's even a step further than Eddie had mentioned on how things are on CD. We really only use CDs in case of an emergency or when the computer has to be backed up. Everything is run on hard drive on our radio station. Um, news produced locally. Um, you know, everything that you hear comes out of the little blue shoe box there in Ephraim. Um, we chose to put the studios in Northern Door because Southern Door was very well represented. Although we are a Door County based radio station, um, we took a long, hard look at kind of where we wanted to be, and we chose a pretty much a central location for the county for where the tower site is in Bailey's Harbor that covers all the way down to Brussels, goes up to Washington Island, goes over to the other side of Green Bay and serves a whole lot of fish on the Lake Michigan side. Um, but strategically planning, that's, you know, there was never any intention to expand, to get any bigger. It was to serve your county. So that's what we do in all of our public service. We do a Lodge Activity Board um, program that runs about two, three minutes, twice a day. Um, everything on our Lodge Activity Board is always on the website. We have a local music show that runs on Wednesday night and features all Door County artists at 9 o'clock. Um, I also delve into, we have a 70s show on Saturday because people have asked for it. We're very, very big on listener feedback and we're building the radio station log by log of sorts. You can visit the blog cabin and give us your comments at, at FM 106.9 Lodge. Um, and we're growing piece by piece. We didn't want to grow too big and then have to scale back. Um, you know, we've really, we've really seen growth in our advertising, which in turn then allows us to get even bigger than, than what we have been in the past too. Um, we're very active in the community as witnessed by being in both parades. <laughs> that was quite the experience. We enjoyed it a lot. Um, and there'll be more things to come from the lodge, you know, in the future as we continue to grow along with the community and see what they're looking for and also to bring the message of Door County elsewhere besides just locally and taking it you know one step further. And I think that's a lot what a lot of this was was you know about was the future of Door County and getting the message out to keep it very much a viable vacation area and places where people keep wanting to bring their kids in that and um, we feel that that's we've, we've really tried to bring that in our message on a daily basis the messages that are between the songs are very much all focused about Door County, its attributes, some of the, the unique things about our businesses. You know, one of our taglines is, is uh, FM 106.9 a lot, just Door County is Al Johnson's rooftop goats. You know, we have a lot of those kind of things that, um, you know, that really showcase that this, this is what our radio station is about. And, you know, we hope that you guys feel that same, that same way too.